Hi everyone, as you can guess, I've got to pick him up again. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Oh, should sure, I introduce myself? Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, um, and my channel's Nikki's Crochet and More. I'd say a big percentage of it is about yarn, crochet things I buy for doing my yarny stuff. Um, and then sometimes there might be some other little things, but most of it will be that um i just want to say thank you so much to the shout out i had on oh i should have made a mental note for the lady's name but i forgot i think her name was tracy um but somebody did a shout out and mentioned my channel so thank you to everybody that came over from that and also thank you to everybody that keeps coming back i really appreciate it um so i'm now over the 900 mark Woohoo! Um, so I'm just waiting. Um, I do monthly giveaway. So on Wednesday, I will be announcing February's winner. So I'm going to start doing monthly giveaways. It might just be a little thing or it might be something more, you know. So just keep your eyes peeled because obviously what I include everyone. Um, yeah. And if you're new to my channel, this is Charlie. He's a toy poodle, full of mischief, very much a mummy's boy um yeah um uh, apologies for not getting a video done over the weekend i had this weird um let me just come back a bit i feel like i'm right in your face there um had this weird virus bug thing it really just knocked me for um six i can see i'm still quite pale but um i'm doing better than i was um it's just really tired me out um Anyway, I don't want to what, be discussing a load of boring um, health stuff. But yeah, just in case you wondered where I was over the weekend, I uh, just um, went and stayed with my parents and had some TLC because it doesn't matter what age you are, TLC off your parents is really nice. And I'm really close to my parents. Um, yeah, I have been doing quite a few bits for charity, making things for them. So let me just put this little monkey down and see what we can get done so i've got stuff all over my desk so i'll be grabbing different things but like i said i've been doing more things for charity because a friend of mine she also does my cleaning for me which is really sweet um she gave me some baby yarn so i mixed it in with some stylecraft dk just the white yarn and i've made a load of more hats i've done little three of these little girl family hats that's washing it out a bit it's more yeah I think that's better about that but yeah three of these little girly family hats and I just use my round loom for these and I can get these done quite quickly so I will be bagging them up and then I did this cute little one on some new looms I've got I won't show you every single one because you'll get the idea but I bought a pack of these they're quilted by Quilted Bear and I got them off Amazon and there's several different sizes uh yeah four different sizes I mean you don't have to do the whole length if you're new to um loom knitting I mean I love doing my crochet but sometimes um like Olivia said from Fibre Fun with Olivia uh she does knitting so she said she really likes changing it up she'll have a real big um spell of like doing knitting and then her crochet and I'm a little bit like that with my loom knitting I go through a phase where I really am into the loom knitting and then I go back to my crochet so it's nice to have a couple of different things so um yeah I've been trying these out and I um was originally going to do a scarf on that and then I thought I wonder if it'd make like a little more square hat you know those like square hats people do and it's not done too bad it's done like this little premi one and then i just added a couple of little pom-poms on there and then i've done some newborn ones and this yarn had mint white and lemon and it is so so soft i don't really wear a lot of um knitted items but if i did i would definitely wear this because it is just so squidgy and soft so yeah there's four of them using up the last bits of that so we've got a white one minty one and a couple of lemon ones 
and then I just had one ball of this left what was this one um I've got the label let me just grab it I've now got a little basket that I keep um the tags in so then I know I can talk about them and then I've got a book I put them in and write what I thought I'm sure I've got that label yeah I have it was King Cole Explorer Super Chunky um, and it's lovely. It's worked up really nice on the loom. So I've done like a young child's hat and of course added a pom-pom because I love making pom-poms. So we've got this and this lovely colour. What colour is it? Does it say? Um, Marco Polo. Sorry, I didn't bring my glasses again. I'm really bad for that. I really must. Get another pair of glasses because I just need them for reading. So I just get like the cheap ones and have a pair of glasses just in here. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And like I said, I love the colours. I've made quite a few hats with this. There's a couple of hats um, on my Etsy shop with this. So, yeah, if you're new to my channel, I do have an Etsy shop and I ship to UK mainland and the states if you're not in those areas just drop me a message and i can work out the postage for you and then if you don't mind the postage we i can do a custom listing so yeah i've got this fun hat and then lastly on finished items yet again for charity i did this ladies let me just put it on because my hair's not that great anyway so ladies hat and then I did a scarf with pom-poms on the end, yet again using my loom. Oops, can't find the other bit. So it's just a short little scarf, but cosy, because also this charity does um, for the homeless and things like that. So I like to make a mixture of things. So yeah, there's a hat and scarf set. So that's all my finished items. I'm just going to move that out the way um i'm just trying to think what else i should grab um i'll carry on with the crochet stuff and then i'll talk about some other things and um, then i'm using the karen simply soft ogo and i think the color is paragon I th i'm sure that's what it is um and i'm just making i'm on the second i don't know if you call it a ball or skein and I'm just making another virus shawl. I'm just really in the mood for simple projects at the moment. And I love this shawl. I know it so well now. So, yeah, I'm on my second one of that. And I'm using a 4.5 hook. And it's from the Crochet Society when I used to get them. Because I've said before, um, I've had um, surgery. I broke my wrist a few years ago really badly. So, in here um i like it just a little bit longer so yeah so i'm working on that hope to get that finished by next week or the end of this week so i'm working on that and then me being me i've started on another scrap blanket i just love making them i just love making scrap blankets so i'm just using my um odd balls of dk yarn um, for this one, I'm using a 4.5 hook, which is a 7. And this is the Clover so Soft Touch. It's just a little bit short from when I'm doing it, but it, I can cope. And I've just, like, um, I did a short video and I've just made up my own cakes of DK yarn. So I just weigh it. And then when I know it's 100 grams worth, some of them are a little bit over um and then i just use them <laughs> but yeah i'm addicted to using my ball winder so that's all the like crochet -y stuff um i brought this book off amazon and i think it definitely wasn't 10.99 i think i paid about 6.99 for it and it's mandalas i've just wanted to make some and i thought they would make nice little um depending on how big they come out because I've not made anything from here yet how big they turn out they might make nice little um premier blankets um 
and then also some of them I looked at I can't show too much because obviously copyright but it's by oh, I can never say her name Hefner if I put it there I might be able to see it um I've got her blanket book and I just like it because I think I've said quite a few times I can read a pattern but I prefer a graph pattern I find it easier to follow um but yeah it's got all these gorgeous patterns in it and I thought that's great another great way of for using up odd balls of yarn um but there was one in here like they've just got a simple um granny circle so I could just go as big as I carry on going as big as I want with that um but there was one here that's but yeah they're just gorgeous patterns um so yeah I'll be making some of these someone some of them I won't because they're just too <laughs> they just look too fiddly and holy um but there's one in here I really liked the middle of and it was like hex I just want to try and find it so um yeah I won't be a sec because as I find things I can um what was it ah there it is like the middle of that one is just like a hexagon so I thought I could make a bunch of them with odd balls of yarn and then turn it into a blanket so I'm sh hopefully we'll do something with this someone I don't know about you but I love buying patterns or downloading patterns and then I just got to find the time and then I think a little while back I talked about this loom I got I did a short on it um and it is just I mean it's a nice sturdy yarn let me I'm not yarn loom it's a lovely sturdy loom and it's meant for children because it says oops um I think it's like five or up or something like that but what I found was I've had these looms before so I do know how to um use them I just had to watch a video to remind me how to um set it back up and I used a yarn very similar to this I didn't want to use this because I knew I wouldn't make the most of it and um I didn't want to use it in case I didn't like it which I'm glad I didn't but I've got yarn pretty much the same as this because it's just like a DK yarn um and it's got like a little notch here where you hold it in, like slot it in and then you um set it up and the yarn just kept slipping off I used yarn like I said in that um I used chunky yarn because basically um you can use any yarn for this so it says but it just kept slipping off um uh yeah I'm just really disappointed with it so I'm really sorry to say I will be giving it to a charity shop so if you ever see this one Goki or Goki um I, my personal experience with it I just would not recommend it at all but let me just grab these i said i wasn't going to show all of them but these ones that i got um off amazon by quilted bear they are really nice um they've got the little slot in it so when you like use your hook let me just grab one it actually sits in there really well to get the yarn over these bit more expensive than that um I think this set that I got was six just over 16 pound and I'm really happy with it so um yeah if you are looking for a rectangle loom these plastic ones with the what I'd say the slots in a really good or um like I said this is by Quilted Bear and you get a really nice selection of sizes like you've got this one let me just put them in there for now um yeah so like i said you've got that's like a nice scarf you could do a wide scarf or a shawl like i said you don't have to do the whole length sort of medium blanky sorry that's gonna rattle and go and then this great big one um there's loads of videos out there of different things to make on it so i will be checking them out somewhere so um yeah i think that's it from me for this crochet update um 
yeah, so I'll be drawing the winner of my giveaway tomorrow. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Uh, I got a blood test again this week for my INR. And I'm also having some other bloods done um, just because I'm not quite right. And I have it checked a um, couple of times a year unless they want me to have it checked more often. Because um, some of the medication I'm on, excuse me, itchy eye, uh, can affect my kidneys and stuff like that so they just have to keep an eye on that so i hope you all have a nice rest of the week um i will see you briefly tomorrow to announce the winner and then at the end of the week i will do another temperature blanket update i am um, for february it's just been the two colors as much as i love those colors i just want to use a different color in my blank um in my squares so i will see you all soon Take care. Like I said, thank you, everybody who's new. Thanks for the thumbs up, the comments. I always reply to comments. I really appreciate it. And just another little favour, being a bit greedy here. Um, my Etsy shop's always in the more box. Even if you can't buy anything, um, if you follow my shop or like items, it just helps me get more notice. I really appreciate that. And I will see you soon. Bye.